Well, part of the River City was a sea of green today for the annual Shamrock the Block Festival. The event returned for its 17th year, but in a new location, the uh, Boozy, yeah, St. Patrick. Look all these gliders together, man. Nothing's going to happen. Nobody's going to get shot. It may not even be any fights. One at most, at most. Yeah, these and are Irish. Yeah, these are Irish, so it may be a couple fights here. But no one's going to get shot. They're all going to have a good time. He's going to have a great They'll hug it out. Z, yeah, yeah. St. Patrick's Day theme festival officially kicked off Richmond's outdoor festival season. Let's go. The event stretched from West Lee Street to DMV Drive. Shamrock the Block was originally held in Shaka Bottom before it moved to the Boulevard in 2014. Event organizers say the change of location was to make sure there was enough room for everyone to have a good time and plenty of that stuff you saw a second ago. <laughs> it's live music. It's definitely good for... Uh oh. <laughs> well, at least she she got her brood, but she ain't got. At least don't. At least she just brought the girls. I don't know. I don't know, man. It's live music. It's definitely good food and drinks, and it's a good crowd. Um, it's a lot of police walking around, so we feel safe and we feel like it's a good crowd. I mean, there's a lot of white people, and it's a oh, lot of Lord. yeah. It is a lot of police. These sisters be, the shit these sisters be saying, man, is just hysterical, man. God. And, and then the, the shit they sell gliders when they're on, like, you know what I'm saying? That bullshit racism and shit they Beat sell. Them like, opium, man. Yeah. These sisters, these sisters love being around white people. They know it's safe. Got a fucking her fucking legacy with her she don't want she don't want to be around no fucking sun people it is live music it's definitely good food and drinks and it's a good crowd um it's a lot of police walking around so we feel safe and we feel like we have a good environment around us coming here i would recommend everybody to come every year because it's something to do to unite with your community and to so some family fun there too, of course. Uh, Shamrock the Block wrapped up around six this evening, but I got a feeling some of those party goers are still at bars with us in the background right now. Looks like fun, man. Yeah, I'm glad. Is I saw I saw a lot of sons in that crowd. It just, uh, I, I just, mm, just be careful. It's gonna be so cool. We're gonna be able to do the Fuji out the winter. Yeah. My name is Courtney. My name is Cherish. And this is Chance and May. We live in the same neighborhood. These are my kids. And things are going great here. It's packed. It's fun. It's, you know, getting out the house and being around our community is a great change of what we've been going through. Have y'all been here? We go every year usually. We haven't been the last couple years, though, because of pandemic stuff. Damn, there's a lot of sons up in that piece, man. But it's a lot of gliders. It's like, I see what she's saying. Like, it's it's enough glider to sun ratio to where it's less likely for something to happen. And it's teaming with police, as she said. So. It's cold. Uh, what are you supposed to do? Huh? What did we do? Oh, we were just walking around and we walked all the way over there, all the way up here, just to get some drinks. Yeah, we're checking out vendors, jewelry, um, trying to support black businesses because we know it's Black Black Business Week and um. Uh -oh. <laughs> and throw it in. <laughs> like, why she even had to say that, man? Like, we're at an Irish festival, by the way. These Irish people that had you over here, and they obviously got black vendors. They're letting black vendors. Why you? Why even say that? Why not just, just do it? You don't have to say that. Yeah, we're checking out vendors, jewelry, um, trying to support black businesses because we know it's Black Black Business Week. And um, out here just checking things out and having a good time and, and spending time together and hanging out with our Richmond community. God damn, it was a lot of stuff. These look like these ain't ghetto sons. 
these ain't these, these sons uh these sons look like they 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 decent sons but they've been gentrified yeah yeah oh we love it yeah we love it not a fan of big crowds but we'll put up with it on this. <laughs> oh yeah yeah we just had teriyaki chicken strawberry lemonade it's a corn dog so it's fantastic it's different from last year because of the new location um usually it's by the author Ashner, but i, I kind of like this way because it's up and down versus a big circle um so we enjoyed this way so we can't lose each other we haven't been able to lose each other yet so that's a great thing yeah. absolutely not yeah absolutely not come here have fun get some drinks have some fun music food i would recommend it Next year, definitely, I think you should come before because of the music. We it's live music. It's definitely good food and drinks, and it's a good crowd. Um, it's a lot of police walking around, so we feel safe and we feel like we have a good environment around us coming here. I would recommend everybody to come every year because it's something to do to unite with your community and to come out and support businesses that's selling things and food and drinks and vendors. So I, I would recommend it at all times. Yeah, absolutely. Well, she seems like a nice lady, man. I ain't going to. I ain't gonna brag her, man. She seemed like a nice woman, man. Mm, mm, 